Can you give me what you think is our future of longevity? I mean, our you know longevity in the last 50 years is, has grown by, I don't know, 10, 20 years. Where will we be 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now in terms of average age if we see some of the advances in the stem cells and, and some of those other things come along? I told conjecture, but you sure. know, my, my gestalt of it is that um, we're going to hit negligible senescence in about 30 years, and then it'll be a, a financial political equation. You know, hmm. the ability to give you custom replacement parts is very, it's close. Mm -hmm. You know, and I believe that the, the TA or telomerase activation is like 90% of the answer. You know, if you start taking age 21, you just won't get that old. I mean, maybe get other problems of genetic drift, but you just don't get old. So I think. The TA is the key to negligible senescence. So if you say at 21 you start taking that, at this point, current technology, you know, hundreds of years. But once you introduce the ability to give custom replacement parts, then entirely different rules apply. You're talking about, you know, really subtle things about neurological aging. It's like maintaining the wiring in a TV that was invented, you know, 90 years ago. Yeah. But, you know, people are smart. They come up with good things. They're clever. So... Again, it all comes down to money and politics. I think we're very close, which is why actually, before I even heard about TI, I wrote a graphic novel about you know, the sci-fi future where people don't age and what would that mean? Because you, you wonder who would be allowed to live mm -hmm. if everybody could live forever. So, you know, that's a question beyond the mm -hmm. scope of this probably. But.